What's up guys and gals? Today we have a Penn Spinfisher V 6500LL that's just all kind of messed up. It turns, feels a little clunky and chunky, and the spool doesn't go up and down, the lever doesn't move. Uh, I think that's about it so far, so we'll find out if there's anything else going on and how we can fix that. I'm going to remove the spool so I can pull these, these things off here, so I can just remove the rotor and get inside this bottom piece. And along the way, the things that I see that need to be changed or possibly have issues, I'm going to write down on a piece of paper, because I think it's going to be quite substantial, to say the least. So, uh, the reason I'm removing this is because I just kind of want to work with this area, because I think most of it's here, but I will obviously check in this stack as well. All these things are pretty loose. Uh, to me, what that's saying is that the person that dropped this reel off, opened it up, or possibly took it somewhere else. Something to that effect. I can see wear marks on the top of this nut. Yeah, I'm going to guess that someone else opened this up before I got it. And they may have just put it back into incorrectly. Of course, you don't normally open a reel up unless there's something wrong with it. So I could be wrong about all those things. All right, let's open the side plate up. We're gonna undo this screw up here. Maybe they did not open it up. Who knows? Undo this screw here and then undo those four screws on the outside. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. I'm gonna spray this down with some Corrosion X. Kinda let that soak for a little bit. Now loosen these other four up. So it's possible they opened the top part, saw it and said, you know what, let me leave this alone. I'm just turning it back and forth to get that oil to kind of penetrate down inside there and help this come out easier. Ooh, look at a little, little bit of corrosion there. There you go. You can see that. All right, let's try this again. That oh, wasn't too bad. This screw on this side will be smaller than the other screws you saw right there. I'm gonna pop this up. Like that. I'm just going to pop this open by gently getting inside here. I can't even get in there. Alright, so we finally got a gap in there, and now I'm just trying to open this up. But what I'm hearing is, or when I'm trying to open this up, is a lot of crunchiness, which would probably mean a lot of corrosion. Um, so this may be unsalvageable. We're going to find out. Yeah, I hope you can hear that. Try to listen. That's the corrosion. I know that. That's not good stuff. Yeah, I can see it from here. I think. Let's see for right around. Oh yeah, there we go. Whew. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say this is a lost cause. So we're not going any further because the amount of uh, time and the amount of money it's gonna take to fix this reel is not worth it to the customer, just based on what they want to spend. So we're gonna stick this back in. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you found the video useful, please hit the thumbs up button. If you appreciate content like this, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. This is one of those classic scenarios where we as consumers believe that because the reel is sealed, no water is getting inside, and nothing's happening inside there, so it should all be good. Then when we open it up after 
however many number of years and uses, we see that ton of corrosion in there and we go, what just happened? Well, we didn't service the reel, so that's kind of what happened. Anyhow, thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time.